Hello, hello everybody. Happy holidays. Today we are going to have an absolutely magical, fantastic time because we are going to do a Skyliner Resort holiday tour. So we have six resorts that we are going to stop at. We're gonna start here at Disney's Art of Animation. We're gonna go on over to Pop Century. We're gonna go to Caribbean Beach. We're gonna go to Riviera. And then we're gonna end up over by Epcot and check out what Yacht and Beach Club have to offer. So we obviously have a lot to do, so let's get to it. All right, outside the entryway, we can already see all the white garland and reeds, and it's lighting up and, and really bouncing and moving, sparkling. Some fun music playing as well. Let's head inside. Ooh, I love this wall of all the original designs of all of the characters. So I know my favorite Simba looks nothing like Simba turned out, but super fun to come and look at that. If you've not been here to see it all. Then we have some art palettes over here. And there's the tree. Okay, I made it to the unicorn of trees here at Disney. And that is because this is one of the only ones that is actually all white. So kind of looks like that painter's canvas and then it's filled with so much color. And those sketches that I talked about lined that lobby area there are also included to represent some of those initial animations. And it's fun to, again, just look at how they've really transitioned into or evolved into the characters that we all know and recognize from our favorite Disney classics. Ariel. I, of course, started on Simba because he's my all-time favorite. Him and Stitch, my two buddies. Aww. The other thing that I noticed in the lobby is that all of the wreaths have different colored ribbons and it looks like maybe different characters on each. So there's a, an early stage of an angry Simba and Crush on the green one. We have a lighter green one over here. See who we got in that Ariel, another Simba. I like it. Simba's a strong representation here. Oh, there's Crush. And the wreaths continue with different shades of pink and into even the purples. This one's got some car representation on it with Luigi down there. So really fun. And they actually have another um, smaller tree over by this kid cot area where, you know, usually they'd have some cartoons playing but it's a smaller one that looks very, very similar to their main tree. I really like this one because you can see right next to each other the difference of the first Timon sketch versus the one we know. All right, even Ink and Paint Shop has some holiday decor in it. Next to, of course, the Ink and Paint series, which I am very much so not surprised is featured here. This is something new I have not yet seen, which we might need to pick up for Yinsid, Andrew's fluff animal, but a little rain jacket for dogs with all the Disney dogs on it. Okay, and they have some really cute art of animation resort specific uh, merchandise. Of course, we'll be doing merchandise reviews. That frame's cute, I really liked that ornament. They have some really nice, very artsy um, shirts even a hat down here and this mug is really cute because it looks like a paint can so that's nice and they have all the characters from the four movies that this hotel represents all around and again that is going to be Lion King, Cars, Finding Nemo and of course Little Mermaid which they even have a little magnet. All right, stepping right outside the main lobby there is the drop off, which is the pool bar, which is right next to the Nemo pool, which is the largest pool on Disney property. Currently right now, don't have any holiday cocktails, but their featured cocktails are listed right here for you, which all sound 
delicious. I'm gonna head over to the Flavor of Landscapes, which is their counter service, to see if they have any holiday offerings. Here is a little bit better of a view of the big pool. Right here, you can see Nemo, Crush, Dory's over on Crush's fin, and then Bruce is over there on the wall. You can kind of see with his other shark friends. Actually, if you go underwater in this pool, you actually can hear music, which is kind of neat. All right, sadly, Landscape of Flavors currently does not have any holiday offerings, but they do have a Mickey Mouse topped cookies and cream cupcake, which I'm not going to complain about. But since we've kind of wrapped up seeing the decor here, let's walk on over to Pop Century. Yes, it's not time for the Skyliner just yes, yet. This is walking distance, and I'll check in with you when I reach Pop Century. Okay, so just so you can get a sense of exactly how close Art of Animation and Pop Century are, they actually share a loading dock for the Skyliner, which again, we are going to jump on here in a moment. Um, but just crossing that bridge right next to that docking station and bam, there is Pop Century. So we're going to head on over. I heard they have a gingerbread bunt cake and I'm kind of excited to try that. Okay, so we made it to the bridge here at our glass lake and I need to point out, so me and Andrew are actually from Chicago, so we've definitely been enjoying this mild winter down here in Florida, but look, it's the middle of December and it looks like fall is finally upon us down here in Florida. I love the reflection of those trees and all the colors right now. So really cool to see fall in Florida. We didn't escape it just quite, right? And for all you Run Disney fans, there's even a running trail that goes completely all the way around the lake. And it looks like it's 1.3 miles. So it would be good to do, you know, two laps, get a 5K in, have to run a little extra, but then at least I wouldn't feel so bad about getting this gingerbread bunt. Okay, the gingerbread bunt is on hold because I headed over to Petals, which is the pool bar next to the Hippie Dippy Pool here at Pop Century, and they have a rum rum reindeer, so I need to get in line for that. Alright, just ordered the rum rum reindeer, and also want to point out right now, Pop Century has some koozies that they're offering, so if you wanted a Bud Light or something, you could walk around with a really cool Disney's Pop Century Resort. Okay, I actually came back over to Hourglass Lake to have my cocktail and just relax here on the water with the beautiful Chicago style fall trees behind me, but I am going in. This is good. This is Christmas in a cup. This is so, so good. So what I have going on is between the ginger beer and the fire whiskey, it kind of hits the back of your throat. But that spice is what is so holiday. And then it's not super sweet because you have the tartness from the cranberries, you have a little bit of sweetness from the pomegranate and just to mellow things out. But there's also vanilla syrup in there, which kind of ties everything together. It's almost like, almost like a little bit of an aftertaste of like a vanilla bourbon, like a Jim Beam or something, a stag this is good this is good and there's three liquors plus ginger beer so this is the perfect start to the monorail monorail skyliner crawl uh-oh this might be a long day but this is a great start to the skyliner crawl so i'm gonna sit back enjoy this and then i am going to show you the pop century tree in a few moments okay but seriously is there any better view here at pop century than this for this beverage. Look at the awesome reflection of the Skyliner on the lake. And again, these fall trees are killing me. I love it. All right, well, I had an absolute awesome time out here by our glass lake, but my hair also is not really fitting inside my hat today because it rained. So we're also going to check the tree look for the gingerbread bunt, but also possibly get the gingerbread ears instead of the hat today, since it's just, 
you know, becoming my lion's mane. Okay, we made it inside the lobby here at Pop Century. And we can see that their tree has so many fun ornaments and things on it, even like those old fashioned Santas, which kind of reminds me of the tree over at Hollywood Studios. This one's real fun with all the candy presents. We have the multicolored lights. I see some jingle bells in a wreath. They should have added two more circles, a little smaller, made a hidden Mickey, but what do I know? Ooh, I love those snowmen. I feel like my family had some blow mold snowmen just like that. Ooh, and some nutcrackers are up there. Poinsettias. This is a very, very festive tree. It just has a lot of things that are associated with Christmas. Look at these, some records even. Some very, very popular Christmas carols. Nice. Possibly the original elf on the shelf. I don't know. It's not confirmed, but I'm going to go with it. Some music notes. And a gingerbread man is all the way up there. Love it. Speaking of gingerbread, we still need the gingerbread bun. There's also some really nice wreaths. That one's got a nutcracker in it. But it's lining the whole lobby there here at Pop Century. All right, I stepped inside everything Pop. Now again, all the holiday merchandise is now 30% off and they have the gingerbread ears. Okay, here at Pop Century, we can check off holiday drink because Petals delivered on my rum rum reindeer. We can check off the tree, which was absolutely beautiful. We can check off these new ears, which are holding my hair out of my face. And last but not least, we are able to check off the ginger bunt cake. And let me show you how adorable this is. There's a little penguin friend. Look at how nice that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. I already got out my fork. I'm prepared. Again, absolutely adorable. Have to do a duff bite. Shout out to Gut Goldman. This is so good. Actually, the gingerbread flavor does not overpower it at all. There's like a really good molasses flavor to this but the cake is so tender. This is really good. Sometimes cakes are a little too gooey for me. This cake is really, really nice. And the frosting, it's like solidified against it, almost like a ganache. This is so good. Definitely recommend it. And I wanna point out, Pop Century is always killing it with desserts. So they're very much so known for their tie-dye cheesecake but if you come seasonally to pop century they always have a really nice surprise so definitely want to keep this resort on your radar well that is a wrap here at pop century did i finish my gingerbread bunt absolutely not but the good thing is it comes in a very nice doggy bag container that is stored in here so we might be able to snack on that later Let's head over to the Skyliner and actually start the Skyliner crawl because as of yet, this has been a foot crawl. So, come on! All right, just a short skip on over. It took us about not even two minutes from over at the Everything Pop kiosk store counter service meal. And this is always a fun part of the Skyliner. What character are you gonna get? Hi! Maybe Nemo. Let's take a Nemo right now. Nemo? How fitting. How fitting we get on a Nemo one when we were just at Art of Animation. Yay! Look at my reflection. That's not me. I'm not this tall. I'm not this tall. Yay! Skyliner! I am so excited. So up next we have Kara B and B. I am very excited to see what kind of nautical 
theming they have going on. Look at those fall trees. Cannot get over it. Welcome to Florida in December. Woo! Oh, it's so peaceful. That's a really nice thing about Skyliner and having your own cabin. It's just peace and quiet away from everything else. And you don't have to sacrifice any of the views. Am I right? All right, we are approaching Caribbean Beach. Look how awesome the skyline is right now. We have the balloon from Disney Springs up above. Very, very fun. All right, we are making our way. This one is a little bit of a hike from where you actually get on the Skyliner over towards where their main little uh, lobby area is. But nonetheless, we are getting there. So we're about to approach their main pool, which is pirate theme. It's really cool if you have not been here. Um, so when I get closer to that, then I guess I'll check back in so you can see it. All right, I made it across the bridge and there's Riviera. So that is actually where we're heading next on the Skyliner. But immediately after the bridge, you can see their main pool here. Um, as I mentioned, it is pirate themed. So it kind of looks like a Pirates of the Caribbean scene ripped out of the ride. And even over that way, their kids cot area, a really cool reckoned pirate ship. They have a pirate up there on top. And then their water slides come out of a awesome abandoned pirate location with a pirate flag and all. So really cool if you haven't seen this yet. All right. And then right next to the pool is a really cool little downtown, almost Havana feel to it, um, which I bet is absolutely beautiful at night. It's fairly new, only about a couple years um, that this has been here. But I'm gonna go ahead and enter into the center town market, see some holiday decor. I already see some very, very island inspired flowers that I noticed out there. Look at that. So this is really, really nice. Out front there then is that main entrance. You can see the garland hanging up above, welcoming everybody to the island. <gasps> and I found a shop. I found a shop which has really nice garland and everything in here and lots of holiday merchandise is left here. I know the baking sets were something people were looking for. I know Andrew's still looking for those plates, so we might need to grab a few of those while we're here. But lots of fun garland and trees throughout their main um, gift shop here. Like I said, a lot of holiday merchandise left at this one if you're looking for it still. Found the resort specific merchandise, and this is a really nice, fun, beach-like hat. And they also have a really nice magnet here with Minnie Mouse hanging out on a little hammock. Some luggage tags. The shirt is really cute too. It looks like there's the male shirt. They also have a second female shirt. Very nice. Okay, so I could not find a larger tree than the two that are in the entranceway here. So it seems like these are going to be your trees for Caribbean Beach. So there's two. They're identical, both in this entryway. But there's a lot of garland. There's a lot of wreaths and things lining around. And they're all filled with these beautiful tropical flowers. Um, so I'm not complaining, but yes, they did mention that, you know, this is not a resort that has one large tree. Look how cool up top there, there is a pi pirate, a parrot. Very nice. I'll go ahead and show you just how close in proximity the second tree is. It's just right over on the other side of the entryway into the market here. 
I was able to look at their mo mobile order menu. And right now they don't have any holiday offerings um, other than the, uh, the resort mug that, that guests get, which is refillable. So really nice decorations. Um, I'm gonna head out to Sebastian's Bistro, which is over right on the other side of the pool from where we came in here, and see if they have any holiday cocktail beverages um, that they are offering during the season. All right, so Sebastian's Bistro is right here behind me. So again, right next to the pool. Um, unfortunately, at this time, they don't have any holiday cocktails. So it's on to the Riviera. All right, so just made it to Disney's Riviera Resort. And I do want to point out that Caribbean Beach and Riviera are actually connected by a walking path. And from where we were located over at Sebastian's Bistro, it definitely would have been faster to just walk on over. But we are on a, we are on a Skyliner crawl. So it would not have been official if we did not take the Skyliner right on over. But just so you have a general sense of where that path is and where everything leads to, let me show you. I just got off the Skyliner right there. There is Riviera. And so if you look, 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 sky's beautiful because the sun's setting. Bam! Caribbean Beach is right there. And so that is the walking path. That is where we just came from with Sebastian's Bistro and the pool in the lighthouse. So very, very close in proximity to one another. And like I said, if you wanted to walk, you could, but this is the Skyliner crawl. There's no walking. Let's go. All right, so walking up, I definitely don't want to not show you these mosaics. So these are really cool and we see them photographed a lot, but something we might not always see is that there's actually a complete not really 360 because the floor, but they connect on the ceiling, which is really cool because it allows more detail. And strategically, the movies or, you know, scenes that they picked, I think that really adds a whole lot to it. But yes, these are mosaics. So these are all individual little tiles there pieced together for not only Peter Pan, but down this way, my personal favorite, which is Tangled. And I think it's really cool because you get to have these lanterns connect two very important parts of the movie, which is the castle where Rapunzel belongs. And it connects it to her tower, which is where she started seeing those lanterns first appear. So this one is by far my favorite. I think it's absolutely beautiful. All right, one thing I absolutely love about this resort is whenever walking around, you always see these hidden Mickeys in, in, in a very elegant manner. So we are approaching the main lobby, which will be right up that staircase inside the window there. You can already see some holiday decor. Okay, and again, as I mentioned, there's so many hidden Mickeys here. So on each of the railings, just different kinds, but again, it's in a tasteful, very discreet manner. And even in those, there's hidden Mickeys right in the center there. So it's really cool how many hidden Mickeys, again, in that tasteful manner are placed around such an elegant resort. We're entering up the grand staircase. Ooh. And you can see all of the pretty garlands with the light blue, the gold, very nice. Woo, even on those pillars, once we get up here, you'll be able to see they have a loop of garland around them. And there's the view out the window there really beautiful. In the center of the lobby here we have their patisserie and waka bar. We also have their tree. So again keeping that light blue and gold theme. It's a very 
busy lobby and it's said to be right now the busiest resort just because it's the newest but right to the other side looks like we have a gift shop they have some pretty fun resort specific merchandise look at that fedora there magnet <laughs> Note cards as an ornament up top, a nice picture. And if the hidden Mickeys around the resort aren't enough, getting a dress filled with hidden Mickeys is your next option. Some luggage, shirts, a pillow, a wine glass, travel coffee mug, a notebook and a travel tag. They even have a hat up top there. Some coffee mugs, a robe, and these nice coasters, which actually a few years ago they had a blue indigo themed line. And this reminds me a lot of it and I bought quite a bit of it. So this is kind of tempting because I know it would match it quite well but really cool even in the back there with those hidden mickeys um ceramic coasters okay there's even more riviera specific merchandise so they definitely win in terms of the most resort specific merchandise that i have seen um likely due to that it is the newest so really trying to promote it through these options. Um, this is from, they have their character dining and they are all in their uh, character dining outfits, which is kind of neat to see. These are cool. Okay, so here are some of the shirts that are hanging up that you can't get to see, but on the mannequins, it is a little bit easier, huh? And we also even have a long sleeve Riviera shirt, as well as a nice fancy little Riviera ornament. Mickey wearing a fedora, how cool is that? Some ears specific to this resort. And they haven't forgot about the women's hat. So they have not only this little fun like visor sun hat, but also a full on sun hat, which is kind of nice with a cover up, which is really cute because look at the bottom. Tassels, really nice. Some frames and some beach bags. So really nice. Okay, inside the Petit Cafe, we have a gingerbread cookie, obviously in the shape of Mickey. We have some brownies over here. How are you? Good, how are you? Lemon magazine. Mm. And then over in this display case, it continues. Look at that. Hazelnut, caramel, profiteroles, yum, lemon cheesecake, pass, seasonal cupcake. These look good. Christmas candy drop. And oh boy, a fruit tart. Okay, if you have not yet been in the Voyager's Lounge, it is a definite must do and I am about to show you why. So what's really special about the Voyager's Lounge is actually all the books that line the shelves were books that Walt Disney collected for himself when he was touring the world. So definitely a neat collection, but there's also a lot of cool collectibles and some memorabilia, especially from those early on films. Um, so if you've not yet seen this, I definitely do recommend coming, especially if you're somebody who absolutely loves the history behind Walt Disney and Walt Disney World. And right outside the Voyager's Lounge are some awesome pictures of Walt, which I absolutely love seeing, and his travels over in Europe. I really like that one. Mary Poppins. Oh, these are awesome. 
Okay, I headed back outside and I wanted to see what their Primo Piatto had in terms of holiday exclusives. And sadly, all they have to here is the Holiday Resort refillable mug. But we are right next to the pool being over here, so I figured we'd go and explore. All right, and good thing we did, because not only is the sky absolutely beautiful, but look at this almost Fantasia-like themed pool where we have the dancing hippos holding up this elephant. So really cool views from their pool, the Skyliner here at sunset. The other reason I'm super excited that we headed over this way to check everything out is I found a bar, Bar Riva. So on the back wall, they have a really cool mural, which obviously resembles the Riviera Resort itself. And then the bar is really nice with, again, that theme of the mosaic in the back wall of the bar with all that lighting. All right, well, we struck out at Bar Riva 2 in terms of holiday cocktails. So I think we're going to scurry on back to the Skyliner because I know between Yacht and Beach Club, they are not going to let me down on the holiday spirits. So let's head on over to the Skyliner for a final cruise across the sky as it leads us to the last point of entry, which is over by Epcot. All right, I came up to Topolino Terrace, which is their dining experience. And you can see this view at sunset is beautiful. We have the swan dolphin in the background, the sun going down at the horizon, the skyliners going, you have Caribbean Beach, you have the reflection of the skyliner in the water that's turning purple and pink. An absolutely amazing view. Oh, and if you look really close, Tower of Terror and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Mountains in the distance. This is a definite must-see when you're here at the Riviera Resort. Wow. Oh, this is my all-time favorite view from up in the Skyliner as you get to see the beautiful Eiffel Tower with Spaceship Earth behind it. And this is a really good way to get a little sneak peek at the Ratatouille ride uh, because we can actually see up above it and above Ladies those construction and walls. We are now arriving at Epcot. This concludes your journey aboard the Disney Skyliner. Ooh. All right, I made it to Beach Club, which is first up. And the views across the water here of the boardwalk are absolutely amazing. So I had to come out onto the beach, even in my Mickey Mouse Converse, to get a better view of these lights and especially the CE Hall. Now, of course, I'm kidding. It's the dance hall. We're just having a little technical difficulties. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, we have the friendship boats back in action, carrying friends from from here to there and everywhere. We're heading in the main lobby here, and upon views, we can see, of course, there is no carousel gingerbread this year, which we have gotten so used to and excited to see. There's still a lot of the garland around. Of course, nautical themed. Um, there are some trees. So we'll go ahead. They were at first sight hidden between these wall pillars. Little fish, starfish. Topper's really nice, all coral. Very beautiful tree. There's also a lot of these really big wreaths that are beautiful as well. A lot of the resorts have also been doing like a gingerbread creation. Um, in place of the big gingerbread display that they have been doing here on property. So you can see that they have that lovely tree and some festive Rice Krispie treats. 
They have a gingerbread Mickey, fruit cake, crinkle cookies. Those are always something me and Andrew make. Ooh, and an assortment of fudges. Now those look really good. And this is something I've not yet seen here on property. I also want to point out some of the resort specific merchandise that's here in the marketplace. Mermaid at heart. We have another area logo. That logo is really nice actually. And this shirt is pretty cool. Look at this. It's almost like the heathered look. And then it's got that pirate ship from their pool on it. That's awesome. A hat. Some more of the Ariel logo as an ornament. We have a magnet, keychain, and a coffee mug. Oh, and they even have a water bottle. All right, well, we actually found a lot of goodies over at the marketplace here, which again is their counter service little area as well as their gift shop. So the other thing that I noticed when I came outside is in this courtyard, they have these beautiful wreaths all hanging, um, not against the wall or anything, so they're just hanging. I think it's a really cool effect because you can see them from two ways. Over this way is the Beach Club Villas DVC, and they have their own special tree over here. And look how nice that is. With the nice little wraparound of the garland. And then this is the breezeway, which is a really, really cool room if you've never been back in here. They even have some nice wreaths hanging with a little lighthouse there, um, but a very grand room. Lots of little knickknacks up here. But my absolute favorite part of this room, wait for it. Look at that painting. <laughs> it is so cool. We have this old beach club with <laughs> a fireworks show going on, a Mickey hot air balloon. Just a really fun piece. Oop, and look, there's a little look over. Look at that view. And just past Cape May Cafe is Martha's Vineyard lounge and they have two seasonal cocktails the candy cane martini and under the mistletoe so i'm gonna definitely check these out all right so i went with under the mistletoe which is going to be prosecco with a cranberry bottom and a gold rim which i'm really excited about the candy cane martini they said had a ice cream vanilla ice cream base and that just seemed like a little much right now but it did sound good it has a peppermint rim around it some grinding in the bottom and he said that's simply just to make it look like the candy cane layer um but i will let you know how this mistletoe is in just a moment okay i got a really cool seat here on a couch in the very corner and my drink has just arrived and tell me how beautiful that is it's the boa balls they're cranberry boa balls in the bottom some rosemary sprig and a beautiful gold sugar. Mm. It tastes like New Year's Eve, but the added sugar from the rim is definitely up my alley, so I'm really excited I got this. Cheers! Well, I'm definitely glad that we stopped in there because I knew Beach Club would not disappoint me with having no holiday cocktail. So that was awesome. Definitely check that out. I'm going to suggest that Andrew come and check out that candy cane martini because he loves ice cream. And speaking of ice cream, you do not come to the Beach Club and not check out Peaches and Cream. So I don't want to necessarily eat here today because I don't like coming here alone. That is number one. You need someone to share these milkshakes with. But I'm gonna walk on over that way and show you just how amazing this place is. Here is the famous Beaches and Crane, which as of late, it's been a little difficult to get a reservation for, 
Um, they are known for their outrageous milkshakes and it looks like their holiday milkshake. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's a cookie butter milkshake. Milkshake. Can't even talk. And it's topped with a cupcake that looks like a tree. Well, that basically wraps it up for here at the Beach Club Resort. So we're gonna hop on over to Yacht Club. Well, walking over to the Yacht Club, you cannot help but walk under one of the coolest water slides at any Disney resort, which is the Beach Club's pool. Um, but the first thing that pops up is Hurricane Hannah's and they're known for their lobster roll, which is very good. But let's walk up and see if they have any holiday drinks. They actually have no holiday drinks, but they do have a souvenir cup, which is awesome. And there's two different drink options that can come in that cup. And it's either of those two featured cocktails. So I got a very similar cup over at um, Gurgling Gatlers. I'm definitely butchering that. It is connected to Olivia's Cafe over at Old Key West Resort, and they're red. Gurgling travelers, maybe? I don't know, help me out. Anyways, that is very tempting, but the guy suggested I have a friend here with me to have it. So, Andrew, where you at? Come meet me, I need a drinking buddy. Come on, let's go. I hate to say it, but this is the last tree of the evening. You can see it through these grand windows here. Some garland. Let's see what we got. So, when thinking about this tree versus the Beach Club tree, I actually like the design of the Beach Club tree better. Just more than nautical obviously this is nautical because of all of the boats um but they have more flowers and more beach feel where this is definitely more straight up yacht feel but the location of this i like better i like that one single grand tree and we also have lots of reeds lots of garland of course not shying away from the yacht theme here at the yacht club okay i literally just flew down here from upstairs because the yacht and beach club bakery team made a small replica of the merry-go-round that we're used to or the carousel that we're used to similar to how the grand floridian a bakery team made that chocolate version of their gingerbread house so how cool is that we get a little bit of the magic even when we can't have the real thing that's awesome and look at you the yacht club merchandise is really fun look at that it's very very mickey inspired which i really really like even a christmas pin for the yacht club now this bottle opener, this is cool. Look at that. That is awesome. I have never seen this before. Keychain. A toothpick holder, as Disney would say. Nice hat there. And a nice sweatshirt. So some really nice merchandise here at the Yacht Club. I think the bottle opener takes the cake, but that hat's pretty cute with the with the anchor and the hidden Mickey on top. All right, well, that is a wrap on the Skyliner Holiday Crawl. I want to go through, I want to rank what each resort that we stopped at, which a total of six, did best in terms of holiday. We're going to start with Art of Animation. That's where we started the day off. Best tree, because it's the most unique. It's the only white tree here on property for the holiday season. So it's unique, it's different, it's fun. I liked it best drink was definitely a pop century and that was the run run reindeer definitely recommend trying to get over to petals to try that because that was really good then we went to caribbean beach they had the best merchandise they had the most amount of holiday decor left and i really like merchandise so they went in that regards then we went over to riviera views am i right though that sunset a tower tear so much going on over there they definitely went in terms of view 
last but not least, Beach and Yacht Club. We're counting them separate. We're definitely counting them separate. Beach Club definitely wins in the quantity of trees and how they were spread out, the wreaths hanging, the whole ambiance of the holidays there. They definitely win in that regards. Now Yacht Club, you're wondering, wow, what did they excel in? They were the only ones that had gingerbread. I'm wearing gingerbread. Started in a hat, now I have ears, but no, no, nevertheless, they were the ones that brought me the remembrance of the carousel. So that does it for Skyliner Bar Crawl, Holiday Crawl, whatever you want to call it, Crawl. We crawled, we walked, we talked, we had a great time, we tasted a lot. And if you don't remember, I still have a gingerbread bunt. So I'm gonna go finish that and I will catch you next time.